This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Brett Pagansky. Hundreds of motorcyclists honored a fallen Cincinnati police officer for the last time today. And WCPO 9 senior reporter Sean Delancey shows you why the fallen officer's memorial ride is now over. Gate of Heaven Cemetery has served as Officer Sonny Kim's final resting place and the destination for a memorial ride in his honor for nearly a decade now. But founders say it's time to sunset this somber remembrance. Hundreds of bikers dominating the streets in honor of Sonny Kim. A decorated veteran Cincinnati police officer shot and killed in the line of duty in 2015. This is a big deal for all these guys. Dwayne Ernst helped organize this annual ride for Kim and all fallen officers in the wake of his death. He says the ride is a show of support for those now gone and like himself, the officer is still facing the daily risk of death. We go out and we just do our jobs and you know not everybody's happy about how we do our jobs, but you know the job you know, it's a job like any other job. You know, we have responsibilities we have to do and if the law's broken, we have we have to enforce it. This will be the last ride, however. Co-founder Fred Fatout says over the years, the route has been tougher to organize and interest has waned nearly a decade removed from Kim's death. And we wanted to go out on a high note. Um, sponsorship, we've had sponsors that sponsored us every single year. And so we thought it was, we, we just thought it was time to uh, end it. And I think it's kind of hard on the family to see it every year. Those sponsors and individual donations have helped raise more than $100,000 over the ride's now eight-year history, going to charities like Lighthouse for Kids, Ohio Cops, and The Shield. It is, it is a little bittersweet knowing that this is the last year. Fatut says this ride is now done. But Kim's legacy, the good he did over a 27 and a half year career, will never be forgotten. Talking with bikers here, it's clear that even though this remembrance is ending, they will continue to support fallen officers, families, and their legacies in many other ways. In Montgomery, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.